What is happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today right here with me, the Rust Belt Mechanic. So we've got a couple of really cool things to bring to you today. We've got the Duramax sitting here and of course Captain Ron's dirty old Max sitting there in the background. One of the cool things I wanted to be able to bring to you guys is some new things I've been doing with the Duramax and to answer some of you guys' questions as well. Some of you guys have been asking me about the HSP stuff that is under the hood, why I went with it, so I'm gonna go through that, as well as some really cool new stuff from Boost Auto Parts. Make sure you guys stay tuned. So first up, I wanted to talk to you about these cool new key fobs that Boost Auto Parts came out with probably about six months or so. Uh, this is going to be for your classic body style trucks, but from the look of these, that's not what they look like they're for. These are retrofit key fobs for the newer style key fobs to be able to use on your old ones. They've taken pretty much the guts out of the old style key fobs and then gave them the newer look of like the LMLs, the L5Ps, the newer style things. So this is something really cool. It's able to work for both functions of whether you have a remote start or not and it's all put into this really cool package. Now over on their website, I will make sure to put the link down in the description below. They usually run right around 40 bucks, which is actually a pretty good deal. If you look up a GM part number for the replacement key fob of say my Duramax right here, you're gonna be spending right around 70 bucks on just a factory replacement one. Yeah, I know there's some aftermarket ones out there on like Amazon or eBay or whatever that are cheaper than that, but how often can you trust those? Personally, me, when I go to program some of those where people have purchased them off of eBay, they tend to only work about half the time. Can't really trust where they come from, and I just see a whole lot of failure points in that. So having these is a really cool upgrade for the price. So you, to be able to program these, you can either A, get a scan tool, or have somebody with a scanner be able to plug it in, put it into programming mode to be able to program these. But there's also another way to do it. So let's get into the truck and I'm gonna show you guys how you can program your Boost Auto Parts key fob. All right, so now we're gonna go through with showing you guys the pairing procedure for your key fob. So really easy procedure, just make sure you pay attention to this one. All you're gonna have to do is close your door, make sure all your doors are closed, everything's off. You've got your ignition key, here in your hand. So with your other hand, you're gonna hold the unlock button on the door, holding that one, and then you're gonna cycle the ignition key on, off, on, off. You heard the horn honk and the lock cycle. You're going to let go of the uh, unlock button, and then here on your actual key fob, you're gonna hold the lock and unlock buttons for up to 30 seconds is what they say. So let's see how long it takes. about 10 seconds or so, you heard the locks cycle off and on, and then you can go ahead and let go of your lock and unlock buttons. That's pretty much paired. Now, with these key fobs, you can program up to four of these on your vehicle. So if you had any more of them to program at this time, you would be able to just hold the unlock and lock and unlock buttons on those to be able to program all the other ones. Now, all you have to do to hold it into place is you're gonna turn the key on, you're going to hear that horn honk a couple of times and the lock cycle that ends your pairing procedure and your locks are done paired with your vehicle. So turn everything off. Let's give her a test real quick. Hit the lock. Lock. One lock, two locks. Perfect. Works absolutely amazingly. Now for 40 bucks, I think this is a hell of a buy. I think you guys should definitely look into that if you guys are looking into needing another key fob for your truck. Now, these don't just work for the trucks. Uh, these things are advertised. You can get onto Boost Auto's website and you can get these. They work from anywhere from 1999 to 2014 trucks. You can order them for those. They also work all the way back from like 2001, I believe, all the way up through 2014 SUVs, maybe even 99 to 14 SUVs. So you're like your Cadillac SUVs, your Tahoes, anything that had this older style key fob like this. 
on their website, they'll have all of those ordering instructions and everything to be able to order all of the correct fobs that you would need for it. Now on the SUVs, it does have all the extra buttons for like the rear glass and the rear hatch to be able to pop those. And also here on top, if you do have remote start, it will have that option as well. So all kinds of different functions for all kinds of different Chevy vehicles to be able to get you guys a cool key fob, all for 40 bucks, pretty awesome buy. Now, Boost Auto Parts, they don't just do these key fobs. They do all kinds of accessories for Chevy vehicles. They do wireless charge mats, and what they are most well-known for are their mirrors. Their new style tow mirrors. You're able to put the 2014, 15, and up uh, style tow mirrors onto your classic body style, which I have put that kind on. Unfortunately, they weren't Boost Auto Parts ones, and they were the Chinese ones. I will be going into that one in a later video to show you guys the difference between the Boost Auto and these cheaper Chinese knockoff ones, but they offer all kinds of different accessories for your Chevys and trucks and SUVs all alike. So I made sure I took a little bit of footage as well when we were up at the meet up in Wisconsin. Let's roll some of that to see what they had to offer at their booth. So next we're going to be talking about why I ended up choosing HSP for my intake and air accoutrement for the engine here. Now I'll be the first to admit that HSP was not the first actual company that I contacted for this stuff. But it was why they stood out more to me over a lot of the other companies. One of those was the fact of their actual customer service. Their customer service was, we'll just say, way above anybody else's. I actually ended up calling them and I wanted to actually talk to somebody to be able to build this actual kit that I wanted to get a hold of for my LBZ. Now I know these things, they're very expensive. And also on top of that, this HSP kit is not a sponsored product. I paid for it all out. So I paid for it because that's what I really, really wanted. The customer service guy that I ended up talking to, he walked me through everything and he was able to get me fit in with the kit that I wanted. Uh, I was able to get some pictures of the stuff that I wanted to match to and got the color matched on the actual intake piping to the colors that I was really looking for. I wanted to get something close that was close to the center of the fuel rampage wheels that I have on the truck currently. So it was all kind of kind of mixed in with the actual function of the truck. The other manufacturers that I had talked to, it was more of a number system. They were just looking to get the things in, out, done. Uh, I actually had one other company that was willing to do uh, some work with me for a sponsorship kind of thing, but their communication was absolutely horrible. I'm not gonna bring them up because this is not about them. The HSP guys, they were absolutely fantastic in walking me through those things, and then the biggest part that actually stood out was about three weeks later. They said, yes, we're moving to a new facility, so you might be delayed three or four weeks on actually getting your order done through, processed, done through paint, and actually shipped to you. And I was, you know, pretty okay with that, just because, you know, at that point in the build, I was waiting on injectors and all kinds of stuff. So I said, actually, that times out just perfectly. So ended up working just fine put the order in through, and then we'll say about three weeks into it, I got an email notification from them, not after the fact saying, oh, your stuff's not gonna be on time or anything like that, oh, I'm sorry. No, they let me know ahead of time before the actual deadline was there, saying, hey, we're sorry, you know, we ran into an issue with this. Uh, we're gonna try and work our hardest at absolutely getting it out by this day. And I said, you know what, that works just fine. It was only like three days after the fact of the point where they had promised it in the first place. 
So I was definitely okay with that one. Uh, ends up like three or four days later. Uh, it's actually getting closer to the time, about four or five days out from when they promised the product. And I got another email says, hey, you had it, we had an issue with either uh, the paint process, the, the powder coating, and the powder coat didn't take correctly. So we actually had to get another set and repowder coat it. So it got delayed back a day. I'm like, wow, I was really hoping, you know, it got, you know, here on time and everything. And they're like, no, 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 we just wanted to let you know that but it's still gonna be on there on time. We're gonna have it redone. We're gonna have another set redone and we're gonna overnight ship it to you. So it's there exactly when we promised it free of charge to you. And I was like, shit, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is real customer service right there. Now, the other reason that I ended up choosing them was for the function of their actual product. So let's get the hood open here and let's look through and talk about what we're looking at. So we just got back from our test drive about five minutes ago and shut it off. And these are the temperatures that I was wanting to be able to show you guys. Right here on the engine bay, we're gonna go starting right here at about the alternator. Let's see if we can get a good look at this one. 140, 150 degrees right around in that area. So upwards of 160. Let's try right here at where the inlet air is right here. 138 degrees, 140 degrees, right around there at the inlet temperature. So then looking over into the air inlet portion, this is where the engine is actually drawing in the air. We're at 124, 125, right around there, as compared to if we go up into here into the engine bay, we're at like 140, 150 degrees. Now, if it didn't have this box right here, this extra, you know, I guess, air intake, box they would be getting the entire set of engine temperatures right into the intake so this box alone is able to keep those engine intake temps down another 10 to 12 degrees just from having that extra separation area right underneath their inlet air box the other thing that I liked, you'll have to actually go back to my unboxing video to see the differences in their Y-Bridge. I really liked the design of the Y-Bridge that HSP had. They had a two bolt design with a Y-Bridge that fit down into the valley ahead of time. It fit down in there really nice. I didn't have to pry and work and, you know, actually kill myself as much to try to get that Y bridge down in there. Now I'm not gonna lie, it took some effort, but you know, it wasn't what I was used to seeing when I put other guys' intakes on or seeing them working on them. I did like the design right here going flush right in behind the alternator and having your air inlet pipe follow that ever so nicely to that point also. I do like the bungs that they have. They were really well put on there for any intake boost uh, temperature or boost pressure that if you would want to put the sensor in there, the actual mass airflow sensor fit into its opening perfectly also. I had absolutely zero fitment issue at all with this entire setup. Doing down to the hot side, that was probably the tightest thing, but of course that hot side pipe, that one's gonna be tight as it is. But on top of that, how they matched the color to what I was looking for turned out absolutely perfect. I really enjoy that they, you know, actually took the time and matched everything up to exactly how I wanted it, and it looks absolutely fantastic. The other thing I wanted to point out was the high quality boots and clamps. A lot of other guys had a whole lot of issues with boots from other manufacturers, either slipping off or not fitting or not working absolutely correctly. And these HSP ones, everything fit exactly how it was supposed to. The boots have held. I haven't had any issues with clamps or boots or anything popping off. I would say the only thing I really didn't like was the air filter where it attaches here, the air filter kind of has to go in through the box and push its end out to here to be able to tighten there. I do get that it's, you know, nice and secure to that point, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. I wish they would have made everything able to secure itself inside the box so I could take it up out right in here in the box and I have to take this up, loosen it out here, pull this back through, pull the air filter up. It would have been nice just for that point. So I would say that's about the only negative thing to this kit that I could point out. 
Then on top of that, the performance numbers speak for themselves. If you guys haven't seen already, uh, compounded with the 60 over injectors I got from Bitterroot Diesel, and then the Ryan's Diesel Service 68 millimeter race turbo here with the S HSP kit has been a really good combination for this engine. Uh, it's putting out right around 640 horsepower, right around 1150, 1200 foot pounds of torque. So that is really good for what I'm looking at on this one. That number is really great. Um, you know, here in the future, I'm thinking about doing a couple little things changing up, but for now, I'm liking this setup. I like how it looks. I like the cleanliness of it. The only other thing I'm probably gonna end up getting from HSP is the coolant reservoir tank to match the rest of the colors of everything that I have right here. I think that will just make the engine bay look that much better and set everything off. But overall, that is why I ended up going with HSP. They're great customer service. Their products were great. Uh, their design is fantastic. Shipping was absolutely great and on time to boot. So. All in all, definitely giving them a thumbs up and I would recommend them for you guys anytime. Also, if you guys didn't get to see the latest upgrade to the Duramax as well, I debuted it over at the Wisconsin truck meet and that is the new vinyl for the back of the actual truck here. It turned out amazing. I think that that vinyl is probably one of the best works that I've seen in a long time. I will be sure to put that down in the description. I ended up getting that from my buddies over at Branded Vinyl here in Ohio. They've got an Instagram account where you guys can get a hold of them anytime. Like I said, down in the description below. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you this evening. That fills out about all the questions that I've had from guys asking me about the HSP kit and what I thought about it, as well as you guys got to see some really new cool products from Boost Auto Parts, seeing how they work, how to program that really awesome Boost Auto Parts uh, little key fob as well. I will be sure to put their link down in the description below, so have a look out for that one. Uh, if you guys want it, I might also put the link to the description of um, the actual HSP entire kit that I ended up getting from their website. So if you guys were interested in that kit, this would be the exact kit that I ended up ordering. We've got all kinds of new content coming up here really soon. Lots of tool stuff, more Duramax content to boot. Uh, I think we're gonna be doing some interior work. We've been doing a whole lot with suspension outside. We've done a lot with the engine here. So now it's time to spruce up the interior just a little bit. I'm thinking some seat work, you know, we'll see where that one goes. Not a whole lot of people do that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. Hit that bell notification so you guys get notified when I come out with that cool, awesome content. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Thank you, and as always, you guys stay awesome.